Jam Factory is proud to present the 2022 Fuse Glass Prize. This year we have 18 outstanding finalists and I'd like to introduce you to each of them. The six shortlisted finalists in the David Henschel Emerging Artist Prize are Bronte Cormican Jones is a writer and artist based in Sydney. She's a graduate of Sydney College of the Arts where she's currently completing honours. Rosemary Faulkner is a graduate of the ANU School of Art and Design. She won the National Emerging Art Glass Prize through Wagga Wagga Art Gallery in 2018 and is currently a tenant at Canberra Glassworks and a sessional teacher in the Glass Workshop at the ANU. Alexandra Hurst originally studied sculpture at the University of New South Wales before completing her Masters in Glass at the Edinburgh College of Art in Scotland. Alex is currently an associate in the Jam Factory Glass Studio and was a finalist in the emerging category of the Fuse Glass Prize in 2020. Bronwyn Sargeson is a Canberra-based artist, recently completed a Bachelor of Visual Art majoring in glass at the ANU School of Art and Design. Bronwyn was awarded an Emerging Artist Residency at the Canberra Glassworks and has undertaken workshops with leading artists in Canberra and Adelaide. Michelle Stewart completed a Bachelor of Fine Arts with honours majoring in gold and silversmithing at RMIT University. She won an Art Reuse Sustainability of Glass Award in Venice in 2018 and has exhibited her work in Australia, Germany, the Netherlands, Canada and the United States. Born in Dongguan, China, Jinjian Wu is an emerging artist based in Adelaide. Better known as Shirley, she completed a master's degree at the University of South Australia in 2019, following study in jewellery and metalwork at Middlesex University in England. Wu was the recipient of the Canberra Glassworks Graduate in Residence in 2021 and has been a finalist in several emerging artist prizes. And the winner of the 2022 David Henschel Emerging Artist Prize is Bronte Cormican Jones with her work Sightlines. The 12 finalists selected by the judges for the Established Artist category of the 2022 Fuse Glass Prize are as follows. Nicholas Burridge. Nicholas is a sculpture and installation artist based in Melbourne. He completed a Bachelor of Fine Arts at Monash University in 2016. His recent research investigates the term terraforming and focuses attention on the ways that humans are re-engineering the earth. Matthew Curtis is an artist based in Queanbeyan, New South Wales. He undertook an informal apprenticeship in glass blowing whilst assisting at Denizen Glass in Sydney in the early 1990s. He has since exhibited extensively throughout Australia and regularly at international art fairs and exhibitions. He's particularly interested in capturing a depth and complexity to the blown and cast glass components featured in his work. Jess Dare is a contemporary jeweller based in Adelaide. She's been working with flameworked glass for over 17 years and glass is an integral part of her practice. Dare became a partner of the celebrated Grey Street Workshop in 2010 and has undertaken international residencies in Bangkok, Thailand and Shanghai. She exhibits nationally and internationally and is represented in major collections including the National Gallery of Australia, National Gallery of Victoria and the Art Gallery of South Australia. Mel Douglas has been an independent studio artist for over two decades. She originally studied at the Canberra School of Art at the ANU, where she also taught and most recently received her PhD. She has previously won the Tom Malone Prize, the Ranamok Prize and the International Young Glass Award, and her work is held in many important public collections in Europe, the United States and across Australia. Liam Fleming is an Adelaide-based glassblower, artist and designer with a practice spanning more than 10 years. He's an alumni of the University of South Australia and of the Jam Factory Associate Program. His works are held in significant private and public collections, including the Art Gallery of South Australia and the National Gallery of Victoria. In 2021, Fleming was awarded the prestigious Guildhouse Fellowship. Hannah Gasson completed a Bachelor of Visual Arts at the ANU School of Art and Design in 2015. She's been an artist in residence, teaching assistant and visiting artist at Bullseye Glass in Portland, Berlin Glass in Germany, Corning Museum of Glass in New York and Northlands Creative in Scotland. Working from her studio at the Canberra Glassworks, Gasson has exhibited nationally and internationally. Tom Moore is an Adelaide-based glass artist, originally born in Canberra. He graduated from the Canberra School of Art at the ANU in 1994 and trained in production techniques at Jam Factory until 1997, after which he served as the Glass Studio's production manager for some 15 years. 
In 2019, Moore completed a practice-led PhD at the University of South Australia. His work is held in major public collections across Australia and in the United States. And he's previously won the Ranamot Glass Prize and the Tom Malone Glass Prize. Jason Sims works in the realm of perceptual art. He creates wall works, freestanding sculptures, large-scale installations and public artworks that create simple illusions of space and form. Since graduating from the University of South Australia in 2006, Sims has exhibited across Australia, Hong Kong, the United States, the United Kingdom and throughout Europe. His work is held in public and private collections including Art Bank, the Art Gallery of Western Australia and the Gippsland Art Gallery. He won the People's Choice Award in the City of Hobart Art Prize in 2014. Drew Sprangenberg completed a Bachelor of Visual Arts at the University of South Australia in 2013, before undertaking the Associate Training Program at Jam Factory. As a musician, he feels a connection between playing music and the rhythm and coordination required in the glass blowing process. He arranges glass vessels into complementary compositions, as he would a piece of music. Sprangenberg was a finalist in the Klaus Moyer Glass Award in 2019. Alex Valero studied a Bachelor of Visual Arts at the University of South Australia. He went on to further his skills in glass blowing as a Jam Factory Glass Studio Associate in 2013-14. Through his glass practice, Valero grapples with ideas at the frontier of philosophy. His sculptural glass challenges craft tradition and seeks to discover new technologies and aesthetic possibilities for the material. Valero was the inaugural recipient of the Fuse Glass Artist Residency in 2020 and was the winner of the Fuse Glass Prize Emerging Artist category in 2016. Janice Vakovsky began her studies at the University of South Australia in 1999. She went on to complete the associate program at Jam Factory's Glass Studio and an honours degree at the Australian National University. Vakovsky's work focuses on conveying a sense of impermanence, constructing intricate patterns to form ambiguous landscapes in glass. Vitovsky's work focuses on conveying a sense of impermanence, constructing intricate patterns to form ambiguous landscapes in glass. Her work has been acquired for many important public and private collections worldwide and has been included in major exhibitions in Australia, Asia, Germany and the United States. Catherine Whiteman began working with glass as a student at the University of Sunderland in England, completing undergraduate studies in 2000 and ultimately a PhD in 2012. In 2012, she relocated to New Zealand to become a glass lecturer at the Wanganui Glass School. And since relocating to New Zealand, she's won several prizes, including the Ranamot Glass Prize. And she's previously been a finalist in the Fuse Glass Prize in 2016, 2018 and 2020. And the winner of the 2022 Fuse Glass Prize is Matthew Curtis with his work, Margins.